317.06 GMT player of the match Caitlin Ford. Why do you always score against Spurs? They just seem like the team I can get a few away from. On the first goal, this is something I practice a lot in practice. So seeing it work in a match, I'm always happy with it. Stina's goal was quality. I probably wouldn't have thought of from there. So all kudos to him. Frustrated because you got kicked out of Hattrick? No. Actually I was fine. I was pretty glad I came out because we have a big game ahead of us in the middle of the week. It would be nice if we got another one. But we got the win. That's what matters. We're playing really well right now and we want to keep that going. 416.54 GMT match time Tottenham 1-5 Arsenal peep peep. Arsenal got off to a stylish start to their big week by beating the Spurs in the North London Derby. Caitlin Ford scored two goals in form. While Stina Blackstenius, Kim Little and Frida Monham scored the other goals. Beth England's penalty, which made the score 2-1 with close to half time, gave Spurs some hope. But Arsenal extinguished this hope with their most effective second-half performance. 416.53 GMT 90 plus 5 minutes. Ubogagu made a great pass to England who were about to shoot as McCabe knocked him down. The referee decided there wasn't enough contact for the penalty and I think that's fair enough. 416.52 GMT 90 plus 5 minutes. Jody Taylor has a snapshot returned by Corpella despite being punished for pushing Bartrip. 41644, G, M, T, 86 Min Gio is still getting treatment. Although he doesn't look that bad right now. He's still limping heavily and I think Arsenal, using all their substitutes, will finish with 10 players. 41643, G, M, T, 85 Min This is really sad Gio lies face down on the field in tears after accidentally colliding with Bartrip. Although it is not fully understood what the problem is. I think he hurt himself when he landed. 416.40 GMT 82 minutes Arsenal substitute, Catherine Cool and returning Jody Taylor replaces Frida. Monum and Stina Blackstenius. 416.39 GMT 82 minutes another chance for Arsenal. Wubben Moy leads Blackstenius mid-cross. Bartrip did enough to keep him busy. 416.39 GMT 81 minutes Arsenal are not content with 5. The goal difference may yet be a factor this season. In its current form, Arsenal and Manchester United have essentially the same records P15 G11 D2 L2 F38 A9 Mon 35. 416.37 GMT 80 minutes Geo hits the bar. Palova unleashes McCabe, who is in a row. On the left, he crosses over at Gio, who fires a volley from the top of the bar. It was a very nice effort with the outside of the foot. Updated at 16.37 GMT 416.35 GMT goal. Tottenham 1-5 Arsenal Arsenal are rioting. Williamson nicked ball over Spence at the center line and little hurried ball towards Monum. He runs to within 25 yards of the goal and delivers an exaggerated curling hit that hits Bartrip's head and the wrong foot Corpella. The shot hit the goal. I think this will be Monum's target. Arsenal's Frida Lenhardson Monum celebrates scoring her fifth goal with Caitlin Ford. Updated at 16.40 GMT 416.33 GMT 76 minutes Ford. Currently Hattrick, shoots a half volley from narrow angle pushed back by Corpella. This is a really good save. 416.32 GMT 75 minutes this is in danger of messing up for Spurs. Blackstenius takes advantage of Turner's mistake and tries to get around Corpella. Who plunges at his feet to clear the ball? 416.30 GMT I forgot to mention about the 72 minutes Arsenal penalty. When the penalty was given Ashley Neville walked straight to stomp on Katie McCabe. 
I assumed this was the last round of her continued counter Tom. But actually Neville asked if she was okay and then tried to help her stand up. Maybe he was chattering inside. But it seemed like a sincere display of goodwill. Updated at 16.32 GMT 416.28 GMT goal. Tottenham 1-4 Arsenal Ford for Arsenal. 4 for Arsenal. Palova's middle beats everyone in the middle and finds its way beyond the far post towards Ford. He presses ball to his chest and hits the net over near post Arsenal's Caitlin Ford celebrates her. Fourth goal with her teammates. Updated at 16.39 GMT 416.27 GMT 69 minutes James is shown the yellow card for late interception of Williamson, who has moved into midfield since these substitutions. 416.25 GMT 67 minutes double substitutions for Arsenal by Laura Wienreuther and Raphael instead of Leah Walty and Noel Meritz. 416.24 GMT 66 minutes Arsenal definitely deserve to be two goals ahead but I'm not making that penalty. Decision. McCabe threw ball up the post and then collided with Turner. Who really had no chance to get out of way. It's Katie McCabe's third penalty last month. Tim Stillman March 25. 2023 updated at 16.31 GMT 416.23 GMT goal. Tottenham 1-3 Arsenal Kim Little scored. Of course it is. It was a great penalty. It hit the net. Corpella went to the right road. To the right. But could not even come close. Arsenal's Kim Little scores his third goal from the penalty spot. Updated at 16.28 GMT 416.22 GMT 64 minutes penalty to Arsenal. McCabe is knocked down by Turner and again the referee does not hesitate. The ball was long gone though. And I'm not sure Turner made much of a mistake there. 416.17 GMT 58 minutes Palova's right hand corner hit the unmarked Williamson on the far post the Flanking volley was removed by Neville. But Arsenal remains in possession and Little takes a fierce shot from the edge of the well held. Field to his right by Corpella. Updated at 16.17 GMT 416.15 GMT 57 minutes Spurs can't hold the ball. Arsenal's pressure at half time was very impressive. 416.12 GMT 54 minutes now Black Stenius's shot from the corner of the penalty area was saved by Corpella. From his left, Arsenal's pressure never ceased at half time. 416.10 GMT 52 minutes McCabe's header was returned to goal by Wubben Moy and was comfortably claimed by Corpella. 416.09 GMT 51 minutes. Ford's shot bounced back into the corner. Never mind their half. Arsenal are all over the Spurs. Who can barely make it out of third place? 416.08 GMT 50 minutes. Monum's bouncing shot was easily recorded to his right by Corpella. Arsenal seem intent on ending this game as soon as possible. 416.07 GMT 49 minutes sensational defense from Neville. A great first cross from Monum. Just as Ford is about to be turned into the open net. Neville stretches to get the ball behind him. A goal kick was awarded but that was definitely Neville's touch. 416.05 GMT 48 minutes Blackstenius moves away from two defenders at the edge of the field. But slips while. Arsenal started the second half very quickly. 416.01 GMT Zaj Neely, my VAR reduction offer, begins. It can only be used if the video radios, this wasn't really a penalty handball. We can see that the offside was wrong without pausing or adding lines, or, you should take. Another look at this violent tackle, your fault. We protect against harmful interference. And risky handball rules make us less crazy otherwise go in principle i like the idea but i don't think it will work unlike many other sports football has a lot of power 
said it would be a lot more public mood hoover than it is now. Think it should be all or nothing and I won't insult your intelligence by officially stating which. Prefer. Updated at 16.01 GMT 515.48 GMT Half Time Tottenham 1-2 Arsenal Peep Peep. After a fun first half at Brisbane Road, Arsenal took the lead. At that stage the Spurs were in danger of being beaten. But Bethany England's definitive penalty would come to them and actually gave them hope for the second half. Arsenal's Caitlin Ford rejoices after giving her team a 2-0 lead. Updated at 15.54 GMT 51545 GMT for 5 minutes this goal re-energized Spurs, who were looking a bit dopey down 2-0. And the start of second half should be captivating. Updated at 15.45 GMT 51543 GMT for 3 minutes this was Beth England's 62nd goal in the WSL, putting him ahead of Ellen White on the all-time list only Viviane Miedema has more. I tried to find a more comprehensive list by searching for England and White on Twitter. But you can guess how it turned out. Posted by